let's take a look at percents with multi-step problems. Emily treated her sister to lunch while visiting her in Lexington. Their lunch cost $50 and the sales tax in Lexington is 60%. If Emily left a 50% tip on the bill of $50, how much did she pay in total? Okay, well, if we wanna know the total amount she paid, first we have to figure out how much the sales tax was we also need to figure out how much the tip was, and then we can add it together, the original amount plus the tax and the tip to get her total. Okay, so if the lunch was $50 and the tax is 60%, we need to figure out what is 60% of 50. So there's a few different ways you could do this. You could set up a percent proportion, or you could multiply by the decimal version. Well, 60% written as a decimal, you would move your decimal point two places, and that would be 0 0.60. So we can say 0 0.60 times $50 to figure out our, our um, tax here. Okay, well 0 0.6 times 50 is 30. So she paid $30 in tax, right? They have a really high tax rate there. If she left a 50% tip on the bill of $50, okay? Well, 50% is exactly half. So you can multiply by your decimal version, which is 0.50 or set up a percent proportion, but you could also just say to yourself, what is half of 50, right? And half of 50 is 25. So whether you multiply by the decimal or you just cut it in half, you're gonna get $25. All right, and now we have to figure out the total amount she paid. Well, she paid $50 for the lunch. She paid $30 in tax. And she also paid $25 in tip. So to figure out her total amount, we're gonna have to add up all of those things. $50 plus 30 plus 25. Altogether, she paid $105. Grace treated her sister to lunch while visiting her in Lexington. Their lunch cost $80. The sales tax in Lexington is 100%. Wow, that's a crazy sales tax. If Grace left a 30% tip on the bill of $80, how much did she pay in total? Okay, well, just like in the last problem, we're gonna have to figure out the tax and the tip so we can add it all together and figure out the total amount. Okay, well the lunch was $80, the tax is 100%. Well, 100% of 80, well that's the whole thing, right? So it would be another $80. A 30% tip, okay? Well, 30%, we can write that as a decimal, right? That would be 0.30. To turn your percent into a decimal, you always move your decimal point two places. And we're gonna multiply that by the total amount, which was $80. So 30% of $80, or 0.3 times 80. And again, this is not the only way to do it. You could also set up a percent proportion, right? There's a few different ways to figure this out. But let's multiply 0.30 times 80, and that's gonna give us $24. So that means she left a $24 tip. Okay, well we wanted to know the total amount that she paid. Well, she paid $80 for the lunch, She also paid $80 in tax, which is really crazy, 100% tax, and paid $24 in the tip. Okay, well, if we add this all up, 80 plus 80 is 160, plus the 24, she would have paid $184. Benjamin is saving up for a brand new handheld game console. It costs 
$65, but also has a tax of 20%. How much money does Benjamin need to save up? Okay, well, he needs to pay $65 for the game console and another 20% of that for tax. So first, let's figure out how much he would have paid in tax. So we need to know what is 20% of 65. Now you could do this with a percent proportion. You could also do it by multiplying, right? The decimal version of 20% would be 0 0.2. So you can say 0 0.2 or 20% times $65 to figure out how much tax he would have paid. Okay, well 20% or 0.2 times 65 is 13. So he's gotta pay $13 in tax. Okay, but that's not our final answer because we wanna know how much money he has to save up altogether. Well, he has to pay $65 for the game console and on top of that, he has to pay another $13 for tax. Okay, so if we add this together, he has to have $78 altogether, or he needs to save up $78.